The Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game has over 10,000 unique cards for players to collect, trade, and construct their own personal decks. But what would happen if players only had access to the bare minimum? In this series, both the RJB0 and myself will each open a very select amount of sealed product. Once we open that product, we must build a deck using only those specific cards pulled, that's it. And at the end of each episode, we discard the entirety of our pulls to the the graveyard and start from scratch with a new product. Every card counts. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! Sealed Showdown. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. know what to say about last episode. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that one because if you thought the Jaden Duelist Pack episode was fun, guess what we're doing now? We are moving on to Duelist Pack Chaz because that is the next one in order here. And oh my god, uh, I, I don't know what to think. I don't think this episode is going to be at nearly as ridiculous as the previous one because I think there's probably some better play here than just Clayman Pass, right? We'll have to see. But uh, there's some cool things that we can actually talk about. So 30 packs, because remember, Duelist Pack dual, uh, booster boxes came with 30 packs instead of 24. Let's just get to cracking and discussing, and this is what we want to see. Chthonian Blast, we need to see three of this card, because this is our primary removal target. The Armed Dragons make a comeback in this set, and that actually is probably going to be the main strategy here. If you guys remember from the Elemental Energy episode, VW Tiger Catapult actually made an appearance, and in this episode, once more, the pieces are here for it. We also have the X XYZ pieces as well, and XYZ Dragon Cannon's in the set, so this could potentially be an option. Chthonian Alliance is also going to be very important as well, because this card actually gives a monster 800 attack for each other face-up monster on the field that shares a name, and since we're playing in such a condensed set where there's only so many playable monsters, this is going to be live more often than you might think. Well, there are the X and Y to go with the Z for the Dragon Cannon, and there is Armed Dragon level 10, so we could possibly play this, although this is probably a bit win more, but we'll have to consider it. Send a card from your hand to grave, destroy all face-up monsters your opponent controls. I love how it's just not Raigeki. They still have to be face-up. Unbelievable. Well, that completes our playset of Chthonian Blast on pack number four. Uh, not going to complain about that. So there is the VW Tiger Catapult. It is a rare, so it's not guaranteed, but it's nice to have access to that in our extra deck. But there's Arm Dragon level five. This is probably more important because this is a common. And if you remember the Soul of the Duelist episode, Arm Dragon level five is a house. So I want to see three copies of this and level three ASAP. Well, ask and you shall receive. There's another level five, another Chthonian Alliance, and there is V through Z Dragon Catapult Cannon. Now, this is technically summonable in this episode, but if you can actually do it, you probably should just win the game. Like, let's be honest. Well, there's more Armed Dragon level fives than I was wanting, but I still need level three. So let's see if we can get some of those. Hello, kings, queens, and monarchs of every element. I hope you've been having a great set of holidays so far. I do not have a doodle again this week. I still don't actually know how the last episode went because we're still on our holiday filming schedule. But rest assured, there is plenty of art coming out for me. In fact, some you're going to be seeing on the wall behind me very, very soon. But if you check out my Twitter, uh, you will, of course, find all of the art that I am making there just about as soon as I finish it. But today, I'm ready to chaz it up. Let's get into Duelist Pack Chaz Princeton. This one's real suspect. I, I, I did not think there was anything else that could be worse than Elemental energy, but somehow they just made Duelist Pack Chaz worse elemental energy. That's all it is. I'm pretty hyped. Pack number one, starting off strong with a VW Tiger Catapult. A card I certainly hope to get. 3M Z Metal Tank is not the best of the XYZs. The Ojama strategy exists, but I think I found in testing that it's a little bit too copium. Next pack, an Ojama Trio is a crucial card for this set. And another W Wing Catapult is great to see. An Armed Dragon level five. Not bad to see that. Armed Dragon level three is also cool to see. However, I do not expect to be resolving its effect because we just don't have Mass Dragon in this set because Konami wanted us specifically to suffer. X Head Cannon is great though. Pack number four, Magical Mallet is pretty cool because the hands in this set get very bricky. Other than that, a VW or a V Tiger Jet 
and a W Wing Catapult rounds out my W Wing Catapults, and I do need two more of that V Tiger Jet. Infernal Incinerator is a funny card. There is a possibility we're going to be running this thing. Chthonian Alliance is a crucial card in the set for reasons I will explain when we get to deck building. Arm Changer is also pretty cool. Hack number six, Ring of Defense, is hilarious. I think this just stops me from taking Chthonian Blast damage. Yeah, excellent stuff right there. Come on, that couldn't have been an Arm Dragon level seven. Too bad. Oh, armed level 10 is the ultra rare. Well, I suppose asking you shall receive. I do need the seven in order to summon that, but it would be so sick if I could. Also, XYZ Dragon Cannon is a card I am absolutely going to be running in my extra deck because the good monsters in this set are so few and far between that I will be running X, Y, and Z respectively. Speaking of which, glad to see another X and another Ojama Trio. Another X head cannon. I think I have my play set now and another wing catapult because we needed more of that. Back number nine, another ring of defense, because that's exactly what I wanted to see and not, you know, any of the armed dragons. A Chthonian Blast is great to see though. This card is crucial for the set. Another Chthonian Alliance. I would like to see a third one of those as well. Oja Muscle is funny because this is actually an out to a lock created by Ojama King and Ojama Trio. However, there is a potentially better out to that. Another Chthonian Alliance. I asked for three and I got three. Glad to see that. Let's move on to another staple. Okay, finally, I think this is actually my first copy of level three on like pack 11 or 12, but we still have 18 more, so we should be okay. Second arm dragon level three. Okay, if we don't get one in 16 packs, this pack opener is just broken. Okay, there we go. All the level threes are secured. Still have 14 packs. I'm really at this point just holding out for some of the higher rarity cards because I think we should have almost every common and rare by the time we're done. Well, when I said higher rarity cards, I didn't exactly mean magical mallet. Now, in all fairness, mallet may be playable in a series like this because the games are slow enough and sometimes you just want to see more cards. And even though it does come at a minus, if your hand is just dead, it's better to lose a card and get a fresh hand than to not do anything at all. Okay, there's a second magical mallet. Honestly, like two mallets just to be able to get new cards. I think that's actually pretty good. Uh, another armed five is good to see as is another X head cannon. Wouldn't it be wild if we could actually pull off VWXYZ? Another armed 10. Just give me an armed seven. Just one armed seven. And I will 100% percent play this armed 10 there's an x head cannon and my final v tiger jet all right halfway through um nothing much to speak of here it's going to be more of the same for a little bit uh more of the same cards i already have still a little bit concerned with the lack of chthonian blasts i'm seeing but there are a couple of more important cards that i am definitely getting i think that's my third ojama trio which is pretty crucial other than that my common and rare luck continues to hold true there's another chthonian blast okay just one more of those and I am very happy in that department. There's still one last card that I'm looking for. I think I'm going to find it in the super rare slot. Pack number 21, there's my final Jethonian Blast. Very glad to see that. So it's really just a couple of more exciting pulls that I'm looking for at this point. If I can see an armed seven, I will be very, very happy. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I never want to see an Ojama card again in my life after this opening. Five packs left, and there are some very exciting cards that I just have not seen yet. The, the Rings of Defense really taking up their slots in here, aren't they? Uh, yeah, pretty much what I expected here. Two packs left. What can we close with? We're on our last pack. And nope, no armed seven, which means those armed tens are totally dead. That's tragic. But I've got a plan in mind for this episode, and I will see you all in the deck at it. A second copy of Arm Dragon level seven. I think seven might be worth playing. I'm not sure about 10, but at least seven is like not as high investment. We'll have to see though. Chthonian Blast is still a concern. Well, speaking of level 10, there's a second copy of that. So if we want to go all in on that strat, we absolutely could. All right, so only a few packs left to open. And uh, this has been pretty good. I think we got almost everything we wanted. I'm not sure if there's any high rarity stuff we missed. I'm pretty sure we have all of that already. Second to last pack, we did not have a Ring of Defense. That is a brand new card. I'm not not sure if this is very useful though you just make it so that the effect damage of a trap card is zero i guess that theoretically stops chthonian blast but it doesn't negate the effect or anything uh i guess i'll think about it but one more pack to go let's see what we get and it's nothing else too special so we've got a lot of chaz's cards to work with here let's go into dueling book and start building well it's a new year and you would think we would also have new jank but the jank is smelling mighty stale today folks i've seen all of these 
these cards already and they were way better the last time they showed up. I didn't get anything really exciting out of the pulls. Most of the good cards were super rares and I only got a single super rare in Magical Mallet. I did get two Arm Dragon level 10s, which I cannot summon, or so I thought. Overall, this set is actually probably going to play a little more interestingly than Elemental Energy did. There is some hot tech plays in this set that uh, actually take some thought to perform and it that's a little bit of an exaggeration. In fact, anything that can be called strategy in the set is certainly an exaggeration. Let's get into the card by card. Starting off with our only thing resembling a real strategy, 3V Tiger Jet and 3W Wing Catapult. If you can stick this on the board for a turn, which is pretty easy since it ties with X Head Cannon, the next biggest beater that we have available to us, then you can get a W Wing Catapult out and you are off to the races with a VW if you so choose. Next, we have 3X Head Cannon, 3Y Dragon, head and 3z metal tank these are the next best monsters we have available to us and they have the bonus of beefing each other up there is no way we are ever going to be summoning xyz but it would be sick if we did next we have two infernal incinerator you can summon this off of any of the above union combinations as well as it being discardable off of armed dragon level 5 or armed dragon level 10 speaking of the armed dragons we have re armed dragon level 3 this card is terrible but what else am i gonna play ojamas next we have our three armed dragon level five and two armed dragon level 10. Armed dragon level 10 is also mostly here to be discarded off of level five. However, there is a way to summon it. Going into our spell cards, we have three armed changer. We saw this in elemental energy. It gives you resources back, which is never bad. Three Chthonian Alliance is one of my hottest tech plays here. It seems pretty straightforward that you can equip this to a monster to basically make it better in the presence of other monsters, which in such a small set is very, very likely, but there is a hidden utility to this. If you control the Ojama Trio tokens and your opponent also has Ojama Trio tokens, your Ojama token will get to 4,000 attack points under Chthonian Alliance, which outs literally every single monster in the set and is impermeable to Chthonian Blast because the Ojama tokens will take the hit for it. This is such an amazing strategy that whoever resolved it in our test duels automatically won the game every single time. So I am very much hoping to use this in our duel. Next, we have the hot strat chat told me this wasn't absolute garbo. I'm still not sure I believe them, but it's funny, so I'm playing it anyway. A level modulation is pot of greed for your opponent, but you get to summon a level monster regardless of its summoning conditions, which means that if I manage to discard a level 10 off of a level 5, suddenly I have a 3000 beater on the field that next turn will be able to use its effect and attack to basically devastate your opponent's board. Will this actually be any good? That remains to be seen, but it's funny and I figured we had to go for it. Magical Mallet, because all the cards in this set suck, you might as well try to make your hands suck a little bit less. Three Chthonian Blast, this card is actually not that great in this set because of exactly a Ojama Trio. It does, however, have the very important role of outing Ojama King. If you actually activate your Ojama Trio before you go into battle to attack, you are impervious to Chthonian Blast for that turn, which is kind of sick. Uh, my side deck is mostly for the memes. I have the Ojamas. I refuse to to run three of them. We have two polymerization in case I can go into the Ojama King. Two Oja Muscle because it makes Ojama King big. Two Oja Magic. This is kind of funny because you can actually discard it off of arm 10 to get free Ojamas to your hand, which is cute. One Ojama Delta Hurricane, you know, in case we live the memes. Two Ring of Defense because uh, uh, Chthonian Blast does burn damage. That's where I'm at, folks. This is going to be a wacko one. All right. Okay. I think we have some play here, and I think this will be moderately more interesting than the Jaden episode. Episode, although I don't think it'll be nearly as entertaining as that, but we'll have to see. There is some interesting things going on here. So let's go and do the card by card. I did decide to go for the entire arm dragon package. So I'm packing two level 10s, two level 7s, three level 5s, and three level 3s. So for those of you who've never seen these cards before, arm dragon level 3 during the standby phase levels up into level 5. Level 5 is a beast. This card, you discard a monster and you can pop a monster on the field whose attack is equal to or less. Then if this thing kills something in battle, you can go up into level 7, which basically just like Raigeki's the field 
field for everything you would discard. And then you can tribute seven for 10, which destroys all face up monsters on the field, regardless of any attack stat, but they are only face up. But it's 3000 attack, so it's pretty large. I think the game might be slow enough that this is viable. It's also just a good target for level five to discard. So that way we can ensure we can kill whatever we want to with this. So I do definitely want to have a few of these in here. Then we have some of the less interesting cards. So we have three W wing catapult, of course, with three V tiger jet, because going into VW tiger catapult is pretty good in this episode. So I want to make sure we have full access to that. We're also playing three X head cannon, three Y dragon head and two Z metal tank. The reason I'm playing two is because I want to play some number of Chthonian polymer just in case Robert does get into his own VW tiger catapult. There is the remote possibility I could steal it and that would be pretty good, but this card sucks. So I'm not sure if that's going to happen, but Z metal tank had the worst stats. So that's why it got cut down. Now that I'm looking at this Z metal tank can actually equip itself to either Y dragon head or X head cannon. So I'm actually going to swap out this Chthonian polymer again for the Z metal tank. It's weird that Y dragon head can't go with either, but Z can go with both. So I like that there's actually a lot of possibilities if you draw Z in any of the other letters, because at the very least you could just summon one, then if that survives next turn, you summon the other. And if you union equip it, then it actually makes X head or Y dragon head over 2000 attack, meaning it can test most of the cards that are here. So I think there actually is some value there. So I'm going to swap that out, but that takes us to the spell. So three Chthonian Alliance, Robert's monster lineup probably looks identical to mine, which means there's a high likelihood that this is going to be sort of removal. So I want to have this here, two copies of level modulation. Now, the fact that this card reads your opponent draws two cards will probably immediately turn everyone off from this. But here's the theory. You're able to special summon any level monster from your grave, ignoring its summoning conditions. And while it can't attack or activate its effect, the turn it's summoned, what's Robert going to do with two cards if we bring back an armed dragon level seven or an armed dragon level 10? Like there is no conceivable way he's going to draw a way to out it unless it is specifically Chthonian Blast. But this puts so much pressure onto the field immediately because again, yes, it can't attack or use the effect. But one turn in most instances is not going to be enough for Robert to be able to clear something this large. It would have to be some optimistic scenario where he gets the exact pieces to go into like VW Tiger Catapult, like shift this to defense. But even then, this is only 2000 attack, so he can't even hit over it. So I just think that this card is probably actually pretty good, even though it does draw the opponent two cards. But like, I don't, it doesn't matter. Like, who cares if you get Arm Dragon level 10 back on the field? There's like no outs to it. I'm also playing the two Magical Mallet because I just like the idea of seeing new cards if the cards I currently have in my hand aren't very good. And then I also have the one Ring of Defense. There could be a scenario where like Robert's trying to like burn me to death with Chthonian Blast and this card could actually save me. It is pretty dead aside from that, but I figure it's worth a shot. And then for the traps, of course, three Chthonian Blast because it's like the only actual removal we have aside from Arm Dragon level five. One Chthonian Polymer. There is a chance I could steal a VW Tiger Catapult, but he would probably attack first to make sure I don't have monsters and then go into it. But I guess if he's trying to out something large, like an Arm Dragon level five, he may go into this and then try to go into this to switch this to defense and then hit over it. And that's where I could Chthonian Polymer to steal it. So I guess there is some advantage there, but I still think this card is really bad. It could be played around rather easily. And then three Ojama Trio. This is probably the most interesting card in here because it summons three Ojama tokens to the opponent's field. Not only does that clog Robert's zone, so he can't just summon more big monsters to the field, but with Chthonian Blast in the format, Chthonian Blast doesn't target. It destroys a face-up monster on the field that has the lowest attack. So in the instances where Robert has something like an Armed Dragon level five, he's trying to Chthonian Blast, we can actually chain Ojama Trio to the activation of something like that. And by doing so, it means that one of the Ojama tokens will die instead of Chthonian Blast because the Ojama tokens have zero attack. This means that if we have like Arm Dragon level five and he's trying to Chthonian Blast us, we can protect our Arm Dragon level five by blowing up and redirecting the Chthonian Blast. That's actually pretty sick. The extra deck is largely irrelevant. Uh, VW Tiger Catapult is probably the only thing that matters. We could maybe go into XYZ Dragon Cannon, but that would require the stars to align. And then the side deck, three Infernal Incinerator. Honestly, I just threw whatever playable card was still in my pool into the side deck, but I'm probably never going to side deck into this. We have two of each of the Ojamas because I did pull one Oja Magic. This could give us some discard fodder for something like VW Tiger Catapult or XYZ Dragon Cannon, but I don't think that's ever going to happen. One thing I actually am thinking about with this that's kind of cool is that if we have this in Magical Mallet, we can search three Ojamas and that's actually a way to convert the virtual card advantage into real card advantage at the cost of us playing three dead cards essentially, which is kind of cool. If I had multiple Oja Magics, I would probably consider this just due to the fact that it's a kind of neat little trick to basically Pot of Greed if you want to look at it that way, but it does require you to actually draw Oja Magic and that's the problem. And like, these are the worst cards on the planet to open, but I'm sure Robert's playing them. Three Arm Changer, this card isn't really that good. And two more Cathar 
Bastonian Polymer in case, you know, stealing VW Tiger catapults actually the meta. But guys, I can't wait to see what Robert came up with. Maybe he has a completely different strat, but let's be honest, it's probably going to be as bad as our last episode. So ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Chaz, Chaz, Chaz it up. Chaz, 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 Chaz it up. Chaz, 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 Chaz it up. <laughs> Good luck for syncing that up, editor, because that's not going to work. But I it's had to start not, off the intro no. that way. Uh, after our Absolutely. absolute blast that we had in Duelist Pack, Jaden, I think a lot of people are probably excited for this one as well. I don't know. I think there's like some cool stuff going on here, too. Uh, th this is, I feel like, going to be more indicative of like a typical episode almost uh, in some ways. How do you think? How do you feel? Definitely. There are some really, truly hilarious interactions available to us yeah. in this set. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to see if they work the way I I expect them to. This is going to be wild. Uh, this was like elemental energy, but worse, but also kind of better. I think it's going to uh, be better than elemental energy uh, because we have cards that are just a lot better in some ways. Uh, that's true. And so it's almost like we got like the best of elemental energy, but like then also got the best of like soul of the duelist too. You know what I mean? So I, I disagree know. about us getting the <laughs> best of soul of the duelist. Well, our let's, let's just get notable into Notable missing masked dragon would disagree with fair, you on Fair, fair, fair. That's fine. But let's see what happens. Who knows? Um, All right. Right. Good luck, buddy. Let's see what we're going to do for rock, paper, scissors here. I'm going to go with this. Okay. All Why right. does this keep happening? Uh, can we win it? Damn. No, you all cannot. Right. All can't right. can't win that one. Unfortunate, but hey, can't win them all. You get to go first this time. Uh, I will go first. Our decks are looking identical. Shocker. You're one card up, though. So uh, if it I comes am. to a deck out war, I am not favored. Good luck, buddy. Oh, boy. And we're going to draw for turn here. Ooh, uh, starting off spicy, we are. I am going to... Oh, do I use that card? Like the... Hmm... What I dislike about this plan is that it tells you about something in my deck. Okay, I'm listening. But I think my opening cards are bad enough <laughs> that I need to go for it. Here's a magical mouth. Hell yes. I was talking about this card while you decide to shuffle back. Uh, I think uh, this card's actually pretty good. It's a card yeah. that like in, in a series like this, you just want to see cards. And if you're staring down something you can't kill, then the cards in your hand don't do you any good. So it's worth the minus to just do it and just go for it. I see you're shuffling two Definitely. back. I am. Wow, that did not get better. I am going to <laughs> set one, set two, set three, and end my turn. I gotta be honest with you, buddy. I was expecting you to like shuffle your whole hand back when you were saying your hand is that bad, but uh, I guess here we are. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to force the issue. I will normal summon Arm Dragon level three. Oh no. I will <laughs> go to battle and hit for, for 12. I will take 1200. I will go to second main and I will set three cards face down of my own and I will pass the turn. Please let me draw a monster. That is a monster. I am going to normal summon V Tiger Jet. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I will go into battle and you know what? Before I go into battle, I am going to activate a copy of Ojama Trio. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, I see you figured out the strat here. You want to go ahead and I have figured the viewers? out the strat. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chthonian Blast is just about the only removal spell we have available to us, and it is totally neutralized by the presence of Ojama Token. So, I am going to swing into Arm Dragon level three. Yep. Uh, so, I am going to uh, take 400 here, and the Arm Dragon level three will fall. And it is your turn. Okay, I'm going to draw. Uh, let's go into main phase one. Well, I suppose I will normal summon a V Tiger Jet of my own. Oh, no. <laughs> and we're going to pair it with a Chthonian Alliance. Ooh, that's pretty cute. Now, yeah, this is cool fine. because it works on both players' fields. So that pumps my V Tiger Jet up to 2,400. So we can hit True. over your V Tiger Jet. I will take... 800 here. And I will go ahead and remove the counter to indicate he's not being pumped. Second main, I will set a, another back row and I will throw it over to you. I will draw for turn. That is really and truly not good. <laughs> uh, I am going to set a back row and end my turn. Ah, uh, yes. All the plans are coming together and you fool. I will summon another V Tiger Jet. Oh, oh no! <laughs> this is the jet. worst! This is oh, the FDK. No. I will attack with both jets! Danger zone, baby! Let's go! I'll pass the turn. <laughs> this is the worst. I'm loving wow. this. Wow. Uh, yeah, I... 
literally can't do anything about Woo! this. My hand is that Come bad. On. It is Come your on. game. game Let's oh, go. <laughs> the worst. Oh, boy. Starting off the new year with just about the worst hand I have ever seen in my life. It's going to be a good year, buddy. Go it's going to be a great year. going to try this again. I lost the die roll. I won pretty convincingly. Man, oh, not again. Like my, oh, let's go, buddy. Let's go. Oh, draw for turn. Main phase one. Yeah, we are absolutely not trying that out again. <laughs> I am putting uh, this card, uh, this card, and this card on top whiff, of my deck. Whiff, 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 I whiff, will whiff, shuffle whiff, my deck. Whiff, 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 I will draw whiff, one. Whiff, whiff, no, whiff, two, whiff, 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 three. Whiff, whiff. Oh, um, that was uh, suboptimal. What's the plan here? Doesn't sound like it was the worst, though. It wasn't the worst. I will set a monster, and I will set a back row, and it is your turn. All right, uh, we'll go ahead and draw here. Okay. Main one. What would you set? Uh, there's a few things that have defense points. Nothing worthwhile. There's... Well, we're playing Duelist Pack Chaz. You know, nothing's uh, worthwhile. Yeah, Although true. I will say, the stat <laughs> lines on these monsters compared to the last episode are like night and day. So... It's true, and the stat lines are very even across the board. Yeah, if only we had Banner of Courage. Uh, anyway. Indeed. All right, buddy. Uh, I liked what you were up to, so I'm going to okay. reciprocate, except I'm going to set three instead of two in total. Go ahead. That's incredible. Oh, I don't like that. Well, let's start by tribute summoning ourselves an armed dragon level five. Yeah, I figured this was coming. Okay, um, sure. And the question is, do I bother to go into battle phase? Oh, the answer is yes. I'm going to activate Ojometria. Sure, that's fine. Uh, we will go into battle uh, and we will swing in with protection. Uh, yep, uh, tokens are coming in and it was my V Tiger Jet. Uh, truly unexpected i will end my turn okay let's draw i'm liking this card about now so we're gonna magical mallet here yeah <laughs> i feel you there so we're gonna send all these back to the top go ahead and shuffle this is exactly my point though right i'm staring mm -hmm. down this card and the rest of my hand isn't really like like tailored to do anything about it so i just get a brand new hand and like will True. it help probably not but you know at least i get we'll to try see. well i guess I'm just passing here. Okay. The nice thing about Ojamatrio is that the other person doesn't die. Uh, <laughs> so That is true. Um, I am going to take this opportunity to use Arm Dragon level 5's effect. I am going to use the most overkill ever used for this effect on an Ojama token. I'm going to discard Armed Dragon level 10. Sure. Uh, and I will target an Ojama token. It's down. I'll take 300. And I will go into battle phase. I will attack into your other Ojama token. Take another 300. Main phase two. I will set a back row and I'll end on that. Okay. I will draw. Uh, that's, I guess, a card. Well, I guess I will set one and I will... Throw it to you. Okay, I will draw for turn. Oh, okay. That's an interesting move. I will I will normal summon a V or a W wing catapult. Sure. Uh, and I will go in on your token. Okay, so I'll take 300 here. Mm -hmm. And then I will attack directly. I'll take 24. Okay, and it's your go. Straw. Uh, that's not what I wanted. I'm going to normal summon X head cannon. Incredible. Let's hit your W wing catapult. Okay. And it will go to the grave and I will take 500. And I think that's going to do it for me, buddy. Go ahead. Draw for turn. Oh, that's hilarious. I am going to, uh, I am going to normal summon armed dragon level three. Pretty good. Yep. I'll go into battle phase and I will attack into your X. Sure. So I'll take six mm -hmm. and then I'll take 12 from the little guy. You will indeed. And it is your go. Okay, we're going to draw. You still got two in hand. I do. I'm going to normal summon arm dragon level three as well. Okie dokie. That oh, crash. I see where you're going with this. Yep. Uh, Chthonian Blast. That is fine. You take 12 off of that. 
We both take 12. Yep. We do indeed. All right. Uh, well, we cleared it, I guess. Uh, I will pass the turn. Draw for turn. Oh, buddy. <laughs> the time has come. The play chat, I hope you are happy. We are about to use the play that you told me to do. We are going to activate level modulation targeting my arm dragon level 10. Whoa, what the fuck? Yeah. You can have your thing. pot of greed, buddy. I'll pot of greed, sure. And we will summon him in attack position. Chthonian blast this, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try my best. Uh, I'll draw. Wow, that's not very good. Holy shit. Jesus Christ, pretty good. He's beefy. <laughs> He's big. He is quite large. I think I'm going to set one and I'm gonna set another one and throw it to you. A wise move. I'll draw for turn. Main phase one, I will normal summon a Z metal tank. Well, it doesn't kill me. Sure. I will go into battle phase. Okay. You are really thinking about attacking with the Z metal tank, aren't you? I'm really thinking about it. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, this has 1500 defense, which would be bad for me. Uh, that has 1800 defense, which would be bad for me. That has a measly 900 defense. W also has 15. I think it is an unwise move. I will attack. That was correct because it was the V Tiger yep. Jet. Okay. I will go in. Statistics have not failed me this time. Not this Your time. Go. Every other game, though, they have. Uh, we'll go to main one. Fuck. Well, buddy, uh, you got it. So, <laughs> <laughs> level modulation fucking <laughs> level modulation that card is so bad but holy shit and this set is actually very good okay all right fair play uh i get to go yeah. first uh so maybe that'll help i don't know hopefully my hands haven't been as bad as the way yours have been oh whoa Jesus Christ. okay i my hand is not bad. <laughs> I want to go main one. I'm going to set one, and I'm going to set two in the back. Truly unexpected. Yep, of course. And I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. I'm going to draw for turn. I think, like, there's no shot that's the right play. <laughs> So I think I'm just going to normal summon myself an X. I'm going to sure. go into battle, and let's check for stats. It is a Y dragon head. Uh, I think I'm going to Chthonian blast you. Just get it out of I here. I had the feeling that was coming. I will take the 900. With Ojamas being in the mix, I just don't even want to deal with it. Yep. Uh, main phase two, I will set a back row, and it's your turn. Okay. I'll draw main one. I will... What are we going to do? I think I'm going to set one and throw it back truly unexpected gameplay right there yeah um not stellar like that's not unlikely to work it's just not the best i think we normal summon the v tiger jet sure and we go into battle phase and we attack into your face down and you'll meet my v tiger jet take your 200 oh boy i will take my 200 and i look forward to the impending chthonian alliance uh yeah it's gonna be fun i will go to main one here and i'm going to sack off the v tiger jet for an arm dragon level five and that is why i had to attack when i did yeah yep. exactly Exactly. Uh, I was thinking the same thing. Okay. Uh, so Arm Dragon level five's on board. Now, if you have Chthonian Blast, I don't care. I'm going to go to battle. Okay. I'm going to Ojama Trio you. There it is. And I'm Oops, going to that's not a token. attack over your V Tiger Jet. Okay. I will take that damage in just a second. I take 200. Okay. And then in the... Uh, well, actually, Wait, I'll I take more than 200. You're going to take, take 800. Uh, yeah. 800. I'm going to set one end phase. I'm going to level up my arm dragon level five into oh, arm no. dragon you... level uh, seven. I don't like that. Second card okay. from the top. Good thing I did that. Uh, go ahead, buddy. I will draw for turn. That is not good for me. Yeah, this is going well. I will... All monsters your opponent controls. Mm -hmm. That's 
Brutal, your go. Now, it's like, it's weird though, right? Because do I actually want to nuke your board? Because then it's like, it makes me more vulnerable to uh, Chthonian Blast, right? And that's a problem. Uh, that's not a problem. However, I am probably still going to do that anyway, because I do have X Head Cannon and I'm going to pop okay. all of your things. Okay. Keeps yeah, the set monster. It's only face up. So it can't, it couldn't it just be Regeki, right? It couldn't just be Regeki. It has nope. to be somewhat balanced. I have another X Head Cannon though. Oh boy. Yep. Uh, let's go to battle. Let's hit over with Arm Dragon. It is by armed three. It, or 18. I'll take 1800. And I'll pass the turn. We'll draw for turn. Uh, you also took 900. Oh, you did take the 900. Never, oh, no, no, you yeah. didn't. From the uh, Ojama tokens being destroyed. You did not take Oh, it. I did not take the 900 from that. Dirty cheater. Dirty cheater. Anyway, oh, proceed. boy. This is something, all right. I think in this case, I need to set this monster, and I will end my turn. I don't know what you think is going to save you there, but uh, we'll see what happens. Okay. Gotta see what we can get. I'm going to normal summon Arm Dragon level three. Yeah. Yeah. And this doesn't exactly wrap up the game. Uh, if I attack with Arm Dragon level seven, that is. Get you down to 400 life. That seems pretty good. X head would crash or bounce off of a V Tiger jet. So I'm not liking those chances. I'm just going to go in with this. Okay. It was a Y Dragon head. Okay. Uh, so I would have gotten over, but that's fine. Uh, 12 from the Arm Dragon level three. 1200. And another 18 from the X head. 1800. And now you've got to worry about my little dragon growing up, buddy. Go ahead. I do. And if you happen to have a Chthonian blast in the back row, then that's trouble for me. There is realistically nothing I can do under these circumstances. I'm going to die on my own terms and <laughs> attack into your armed dragon level three. I'll take the three. What a terrible final game. It is your go. Okay. Uh, I will draw for turn. Uh, oh, perfect. When one dies, another one comes back. Ah, <laughs> uh, excellent. I'll attack. <laughs> the second coming. I will take the extra damage and I will admit I will not offer a draw <laughs> that was not nearly close enough for that. I didn't get oh, to use my level what a final hand. though, buddy. <laughs> Oh, yep. I see you were also on it. You had the additional privilege, however, of owning a copy of Armed Dragon level seven. Ooh, you didn't get a uh, single seven? Not. Wow. Nope. I think I got, I, I don't know if I got three sevens. I think I got two sevens at least. Because uh, I think I was main decking too. Wow. Um, two sevens I got, and two tens. I got one super rare in my one magical mallet and four ultra rares in two level tens and two rings of defense. Ooh. I figured being able to discard level 10 off of level 5 and level modulation at back might do the trick, but it was a tall order. So a, a strat I was considering uh, that I actually realized while we were side decking is Infernal Incinerator. So the idea is we could Infernal Incinerator all the cards out of our hand, one of them being like the level 7 or the level 10, and then level yep. modulation at back. The problem is Infernal Incinerator is a very hard card to get onto the field, so... I ultimately decided against it, but like, yeah, as soon as I read yeah. level modulation, it really like piqued my interest because your opponent pot of greeds and you can't like use the effect or attack of whatever you summon. Mm -hmm. But when you look at the card pool, it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> Yeah, what were you realistically going to do against an armed dragon level 10 nothing. sitting in attack position? Nothing. There was literally nothing you could do, the exactly. Only, the only punish for that is if your opponent has Chthonian Blast and you don't have another monster, or if there's not another monster on the field that can, like, soak the hit, which with all, with I imagine you were playing three Ojama Trio. Yep. With us playing Ojama Trio was just incredibly unlikely to happen. But the other scenario I came up with in my head is, is like, okay, so if the board state was like this and you uh let me just get all these out of here so like if if the board state was pretend your z metal tank is your level 10 and uh -huh. let's say your set was like a v tiger jet or a w wing catapult the only other mm -hmm. like opt like optimistic scenario is like they can't attack it and you have the other piece and you summon vw tiger catapult switch the arm dragon to defense and then i think uh maybe you can i think it has 2100 defense oh, is it 20, and 2000 attack oh never mind never mind then that doesn't yep. work but uh, well, in any case, I thought there was some other way I figured out to like out an armed dragon level 10. Uh, it has 2000 defense. Yeah, never mind. It's not big enough. Um, yeah, 
Well, okay, so then if you have Arm Dragon level five in hand, oh no, you'd, you'd have to have a lot. You'd have to have an Arm Dragon level yeah. 10 of your own in hand too. Exactly. Yeah, that, yeah, and that just, was what I was really hoping it's for. It's unlikely. And I, yeah. I did main the Infernal Incinerators for similar did reasons. Did you? Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I was really down bad for playable cards as you can probably imagine. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> okay. So here's the real question. Okay. There's an interaction I was really hoping would show up this episode, but didn't. Do you know the real strat with Ojama Trio? The real strat, aside from the Chthonian Blast interaction? Yep. No, not off the top of my head. Enlighten me. So if your opponent Ojama Trios you okay. and has a big monster on the board okay. and you have an Ojama Trio of your own, a Chthonian Alliance makes your Ojama token a 4,000 attacker. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That came up on stream once or twice, and it just was like absolutely game ending every <laughs> single time. Oh my god! I'm sad we didn't get to show that off. That I'm really hysterical. sad we didn't get to show that off. There were a bunch of people wow. tried to do an Ojama lock where you Ojama trio Ojama king your opponent, and every single time their opponent had the punish with the Ojama trio Jethonian alliance. That just sounds awful. That sounds miserable. <laughs> the fact that they're even trying to play Ojama king is like the worst concept ever. Ever. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, what were you spending so much time on with your side deck? Oh, I it need was, to it, know. It was the Infernal Incinerator thing. Because oh, like, okay. after, All right. after like the level modulation stuff, I was thinking, I'm like, damn, like is the strat to just try to get this like because there's no other cards that discard cards besides Arm Dragon 5 and VW Tiger Catapult. So yeah. I'm like, is there any other way to just turbo into this card? And then I'm like, oh, Infernal Incinerator. But again, it's just so hard to summon it. And it was like, eh, I don't think it was worth it. But yeah, this set, yeah. like, I feel like we had to play even even more bad cards in this set than we did in the Jaden set. And that's saying a lot. Um, that's definitely true. I, I actually, um, the one strat I came up with, which was pretty sick. Do you okay. know the true strat with magical mallet? The true strat with magical mallet. I evidently do not, other than if you're talking about putting armed dragons back into your deck to be able to summon them off of other armed oh, dragons. Oh no, that's not what I'm talking. Something I've okay. considered, but I didn't have the pulls for it. If you Oja magic and get three Ojamas to your hand, you can magical you get a draw and basically <laughs> draw three cards for free. And I'm like, so, that's not terrible, honestly. <laughs> like that seems I okay. was, I was no joke siding Oja magic and the Ojamas because so my basically my whole d side deck was the Ojama strategy plus two ring of defense because every other decent card was already in my deck. And I was thinking that if you d if you level modulation back the level 10 and you discard Oja magic because level 10 does not need a monster yep. in hand, yep. you can get your Ojamas off of that. Yeah. And so that was something funny. I only pulled one Oja magic, which was pretty sad. Uh, so I had the Ojamas in my side deck as well, but like that's kind of because there wasn't anything else to play. I main the ring of defense i figured it could come up with chthonian blast because like there are it does do damage right and like there could be a cheeky situation where like oh you can try to chthonian blast me out of the game if you're on higher life so i'm like okay like ring That's of defense fair. like might come up but i mean you know good luck making that relevant what a yeah. what a weird episode I, this was not what as fun as the Jaden very one. strange one yeah no not at all i think it's just like the problem is it's sort of like the soul of the duelist episode where once someone sticks arm dragon level five it's just like a downhill struggle uh, or an uphill Yep. struggle i should say from the opponent because especially in this set there's like it's so easy to get low level or low attack monsters out because of the ojama tokens yep. it almost guarantees that you're going to blank the effect of um the effect of chthonian blast and so yeah yeah i don't i don't know if this is better than and our last energy. our last <laughs> duel really showed off exactly what happens here if yeah. you have v tiger jet and level five in your hand you immediately win the game because there is no way of outing the v tiger jet unless you happen to like 10 head <laughs> having the Chthonian Alliance in ha hand for it and going over it with your own V Tiger Jet, yeah. which I honestly probably would have done if I had opened with Chthonian Alliance because otherwise literally you lose the game. Yeah. I, I was actually very sad because in the beginning of this game, when you killed my Y Dragon Head, I had the X Head Cannon. So my main line was actually going to be to equip Y Dragon Head, the X Head Cannon, and make it 22. And this is like almost oh, yeah. unkillable in this format too, aside from Chthonian Blast, obviously. And it's like big enough that like, yes, it still dies like Arm Dragon level five, but I'm going to hit over every single defense position monster you play with this with this right here. Uh, so Sans Chthonian Blast, which I had the trio, obviously, so I didn't care about it anyway. If you didn't attack into Y Dragon 
head-to-head, you may have just lost the game right there immediately. Um, yeah, obviously absolutely. it's hard to say, but that, that like, Man. I love that there's like the little union synergies here as well. Although I really hate that why dragon head can't equip to Z metal tank. That's kind of weird. But, it's very annoying. Yeah. Uh, I did open with all three of the X, Y, Z. And if that had not been V tiger jet into, uh, into arm dragon level five, you bet your booty. <laughs> I would have a hundred percent gone for that X Y Z dragon you were. cannon. Of course, like I, we we were both playing them, I imagine, and it's like yep. I I said if it comes up, this card's real, and this card will probably win us the game yeah. if we summon it. But it's really good. Very very tall order for that to happen for sure. So guys, that's gonna wrap it up for another episode of Yu Gi Oh Sealed Showdown. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons as always. So big shouts to Shout Thirteen Seventeen, Moto Cameron Smith, Chaotic Meatball, Tim Zero Zero X Three, Ian Musaka, Iron Fang Part Two, Pony Stark, Dan Ben Hoban, Secret Guy Ole, Yusuf Fast and Five, Sylvia Wilds, Colty Draconic, Rockside, Dollar Up, Logan Thomas, Peter. Gregory, Thomas Elson, Jordan Coons, Calvin, Iron Blaze, and Purace, Jesse Wood, True Nerdgasm, Brother Paul Chris Hood, MBT Play Medulce, Nate Celeste, David Liu, Chat God, Sky Rose, Dylan Hunter, John Two Base, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Day Sir, Carlos CT, Flannel Daddy, Ashlyn Jensen, Give Me Speed Reuter, Give Me Death. Guys, please read your cards. CC Gaming, thanks for the sleeves, Dad. Matthew Brady, Ash Blossom, Toast, and for Max, Tom Russell, Band Snatch Shield for Prague 2021, Chipotle Rice, Wa Yan, I Think of MBT in the Shower, Super Dark Edge, and Kanye's famous album, MBT DTF. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.